Morning. Well, it's uh, day four of living without electric. It was cold last night. Um, anyway, survival has been be started to become a um, almost an all day chore. You know, it's uh, little things you're able to do normally uh, are really take a long time to do. Um, I don't know how much, um, progress stuff I'm going to be able to do. I have to go up to the library and finish with, um, uh, banking stuff. Uh, I have to find a way to charge my phone. I have to leave the keys in the car and so I have to watch the whole thing charge, which that takes a couple hours right there. Um, if I can get a bigger inverter, yeah, focus on that project, and that would save me time. Um, if I can get a, an electrical hookup in the trunk or something, um, or under the under the um, hood, uh, so that I don't have to um, leave the keys in it, and I can keep my phone secure. That would be helpful because I got to start charging these camera batteries too. So I'm gonna have to put an inverter in there on the charger and start charging the batteries because I can't really afford to buy batteries that are already, you know, just throwaway batteries anymore. So I'm not gonna charge them on staples, and because um, I'm gonna be eliminating staples pretty soon because they just jack the interest 25 percent. Uh, I think it's. Citibank runs that, yeah. Anyway, um, then I can get up to Walmart, buy some more socks. I'm not able to, uh, it's gonna be really rough to wash clothes and dry them. Oh boy. I'm losing my train of thought here. Oh, um, I just keep continuing work on the vehicles if I can. Um, the truck needs brake work. I can't take that off the road because it's the only thing running. The car needs uh, cooling work. I can't disconnect that old thing because I got to start the engine now and then to <coughs> to charge the battery so that I can. Um, run the inverter and stuff like that on there to charge batteries and I have to charge my phone battery and the phone minutes have been burning off a lot quicker like five times quicker than they normally do because I'm not using you know my normal phone which is a magic jack that was hooked up to you need electric for phones if I had had a normal phone, I could just uh, bypass it and put an old-fashioned type, but because phones normally have their own electric, unless they're through the computer. Uh, it's just a million things. It, it's I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know if this lighting source is any better than the other lighting sources. It's actually about nine. Or no, it's now it's 10 in the morning now. I'm going to try to figure out a way to make coffee. Maybe I'll make it with the inverter in the car. Or maybe I'll go out to a gas station and buy some coffee. Because I'm a caffeine addict and I need coffee. Because <laughs> I need the caffeine or I get a headache all day. Anyway, that's that's where it's at right now. Fourth day into um, what's apparently going to be 30 days in an electric. So, the 27th of the month, they, he says he's going to have enough to pay the electric bill. I don't know how this, this is just bad planning, I think. Where I am here is, I'm, I'm kind of a live-in handyman. <laughs> this is, none of this is my, uh, situation.
Anyway, onward with today. Oh, my cat knocked his bag of food over in the night climbing around. Not, it's a lack of electricity for some reason is freaking him out. I guess he's used to hearing different noises and now he doesn't hear them. Anyway, he's climbing all around. He knocked the bag off. I had it holding his cooler lid down because it's got dry ice in his cooler. Oh, well, luckily most of it landed on this this um, cardboard box. I'm not going to salvage the rest of it. I'm just going to sweep it up and throw it out. Oh, I'm headed down to the library to see if I can upload some more of these videos <clears throat> and check some other online stuff that uh, I'm not able to get out. Oh, I got all the way to the library. I forgot my telephone and I forgot my headphones, so I'm going to head back to go get them. Well, the gas is starting to sputter, so I guess I'm going to walk to the library now. i take the bus. Well, the truck's out of gas. The tire's almost flat. We have no electric to pump the tire up. So this truck's going to be down, because he's not going to get gas. We're going to have to bring a can to get it to work anyway. Cars down, trucks down, this other trucks down, these two are down. <laughs> That's it. No electric, no vehicle. Jesus. Well, I'm gonna use this American tourister bag. I carry all this crap to the library. My headphones. I should get a, a USB splitter, actually, too. That way I can charge my phone while I'm there on the USB uh, power. Uh, also, <laughs> we'll uh, you know, go to the store and bring some stuff home in this. I think I'm going to just walk to the library. Yeah, we're going to drive this car with a bad cooling system to the gas station. George is going to get some more gas that he should have got in the first place. We wouldn't be running out. Alright. Yeah, George said he had the fire going, but apparently he didn't. I don't know how long it's going to take to stoke up. I just threw a mesquite piece in there and some some uh, charcoal. Heating up a pizza and trying to cook two hot dogs. I think the sun's going to cook it faster than this cheesy fire. Well, Mariana wants some hot dogs, so I'm going to just cook the rest of my hot dogs up. Eat what I can. We had to restoke the fire. It's not really a hot fire. About an hour later. One o'clock. Still cooking. Okay, here goes the second attempt at the library. We put a uh, Almost fifteen dollars worth of gas in here, probably about thirteen dollars because he saved some for his lawnmower. So anyway, I'm gonna head up to the library, then I'm gonna go to the storage unit, deal with some stuff, and uh the gas station gave me another um six or eight dollars for additional gas so I get some more. Alright. Good old Stanton Library. I'll uh, upload all these videos. Actually, I have Mariana's uh, library card for something unrelated. I'm going to use it for 
computer use. So I'm going to get a couple hours out of here. Well, a couple of 45 minutes or so. Okay, I just left the uh, library. I'm headed back. Um, I don't know what to say. I got a couple videos uploaded. They didn't really accomplish much else because they only give you like so much time on those computers and they're slow. Well, I guess I gotta run George to Walmart. He's gonna get butter. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere. Alright, we're on our way to Walmart. George needs some butter. Beautiful day. Right, George? Yeah. Well, George just bought a little propane camping stove. Wow. I'm making you famous, George, for the future history books. Yeah. Now we're walking back to the truck. There it is. Well, George has his um, camp stove hooked up, cooking some coffee. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Battery's starting to go down on this thing. As soon as it gets dead enough, I'm going to run the inverter and charge these batteries up again once uh, two sets go down. Well, that ends another fun-filled day, the fourth one, without electric. Um, it looks like we're going to be going a full month with no electric. Anyway, um, tomorrow I'm going to, now that I have a little bit of gas, I may uh, take a shot at going up and uh, start work again on that blazer. I really want to try to find a way to get down to Florida this month and uh, knock out that storage unit down there staying with uh, knocking out one a month for a little bit uh, the Pennsylvania ones will be a little more difficult but um, I'm hoping to knock one out over this summer anyway y'all have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow